Chaos and here back at it again with another update on Magician Deck Profile featuring Magician of Black Chaos Max and the Dogmatica cards. The goal of this deck is to summon Magician of Black uh, Chaos Max on our opponent's turn to lock them out of monster effects and essentially win us the game. We do this by combining the Dark Magician cards and the Dogmatica cards in a way that allows us to consistently and effectively summon both El Shadol Winter and Magician of Black Chaos Max to floodgate our opponent out of playing the game. For the profile, we play 3 Magician's Rod, 3 Magician's Souls, 1 Apprentice Illusion Magician, 1 Dark Magician, 1 Dark Magician Girl, 1 Illusion of Chaos, uh, 2 Illusion of Chaos, sorry, uh, 1 Magician of Black Chaos Max, 2 Preparation of Rites, 1 Salvation, 1 Circle, 1 Eternal Soul, 1 Secrets of Dark Magic, 7, 2 Ecclesia, 1 Flood Elise, 2 Dogmatica Maximus, 1 Shadol Schism, 1 Dogmatica Punishment, and 3 Nadir Servant. For the tech cards, we play 3 Pot of Prosperity, uh, 3 Super Poly, and 3 Ravelry of the Warlords. For the extra, we run 1 El Shadol Apocalypse, 2 El Shadol Winder, 1 Titanic Lad, 2 Herald of the Arc Light, 1 Omega, 1 Artemis, 1 Relinquished, 1 Dark, 1 B Cop, 1 Sling, 1 Axis Kotoka, 1 Garura, Wings of Resident Life, and 1 Mudraka of the Swamp. To explain the ratios a little bit, we play 3 Rod as it's the main normal summon of the deck, and choose so the uh, main combo piece for the, and main card for our end board, Secrets of Dark Magic. We play essentially 7 copies of Rod. Uh, as we play uh, 3 Rod and two, 4 copies of Illusion of Chaos. We then play 3 copies or 7 copies of Magician Souls, the main extender and the best way for us to get Dark Magician in rotation to our field or hat, uh, to our field. As we need, to, uh, in order to resolve our combo, we need to end on Dark Magician in our hand or on the, uh, or on the field. And Souls is able to get Dark Magician on the field uh, through its effect. We then play one Apprentice of Illusion Magician, which is useful in certain hands to add Dark Magician to our hand, or as just protection for cards like El Shadol Winter, giving it a 2000 attack boost when our opponent tries to beat over it. Uh, Apprentice of Illusion Magician is also useful as it is an additional extender for pushing through boards and allows us to beat over uh, certain boss monsters like Addictness, uh, Addict the Arrival Cybers, or uh, the Geomathematic Final Sigma. We then play one Dark Magician. You only really need one copy in this deck since we're essentially using him as ritual fodder to lock up opponent out of monster effects using Magician of Black Chaos Mask Max, and we don't want to be running more copies since he's essentially a brick in the, in the deck, and we only want to be adding him when we need him specifically, or summoning him specifically when we need him to resolve our end board. Uh, one DMG. Again, this is just to uh, in case we go into a grind game, and it allows us to get two draws of Soul Servant. However, you can probably cut DMG for another copy of Dark Magician, as essentially if you're able to lock your opponent out of using monster effects, they can't win, and you should be able to take the game using a combination of uh, Window plus Axis Code Talker. We play two copies of Illusion of Chaos and two copies of Preparation. Right, I felt four copies was enough, and as for the reason for a two and two ratio. I don't like playing one copy of Illusion of Chaos in the deck, as you um, as having one copy feels very vulnerable and uh, it gives you like less flexibility with certain plays you want to do. And having a two and two ratio means that you can play more spells that can be set for souls to draw more cards, and also gives you uh, more fodder for spells and graveyard for Selene. We then play one Magician Salvation, one Circle, and Total Soul. This is again for the grind game and an inherent out to Mystic Mine. It's also a really good part of the DM engine, albeit really inconsistent to pull up, but when you do it's extremely strong and is able to provide an uh, infinite grind game essentially. Uh, one Secrets of Dark Magic, it's the main combo piece and facilitates how we are uh, most of our plays and is could be uh, could be arguably the most important card to our end board and uh, facilitates all our plays essentially. We played th 3 Soul Servant. <coughs> you, 
feel unless they cut Soul Serpent down to two uh, in this list since uh, Soul Serpent isn't actually that useful. It's only useful in the grind game and it doesn't actually start your combos or plays. So you can very easily drop this to two and play more copies of Kalisha, which I would recommend, but at the same time I like having the flexibility of three Soul Serpent. Um, we then played two Ecclesia, uh, one Fledley and two Maximus. Um, Ecclesia is, Ecclesia and Maximus are both really great starters uh, in the deck and help you resolve your combo. Uh, we played two Maximus instead of the one as Maximus actually lets you, Maximus is actually one of the better cards to draw as, as long as you get an extra like, monster in graveyard, you're able to uh, then resolve um, your Magician Black Chaos Max combo or your wind uh, Window combo depending on what other resources you have available to you. But Maximus by itself is able to set up Winder, which is extremely strong and should not, like, Winder is definitely a great card to have on the field as it just locks, uh, it's a floodgate and floodgates are very good in Yu-Gi-Oh, surprise, surprise. For the least, it's an additional inter interruption if you've drawn the nuts. And same, this is the same with Punishment, where if you've drawn an insane, you can end on multiple interruptions. Um, we then have three Nadir Seven. Again, this is post ban list, which is why I decided to play this deck, and it's also why um, th uh, uh, three Nadir Seven is extremely good for this deck, since you're able to uh, resolve your Maximus combo by itself and allows you to do your three card combo, which I'll show in a different video. We then have three Part of Prosperity as a consistency booster, three Super Polys of Ward Breaker, an interruption, and three Ravelry of Warlords because uh, it's a, another floodgate and this the main goal of this deck is just to floodgate out your opponent out of the game. Uh, I feel like the extra deck is pretty self-explanatory but I'll just explain it really quickly. Apkalon searches Schism and puts it to Graveyard. Winder, two copies of Winder, one to summon on your opponent's turn and one to summon uh, one to add, and one copy to add back uh, Schism. One Titanic Clad to uh, is for when you draw Insane and can send this off Maximus to end on another Dogmatica interruption. Uh, two Herald of Arclight, you must play two copies because there are times where you need to be sending two Herald of the Arclight uh, for your to resolve your Magician Black Chaos Max combo. One Omega for when you go into a grind game. Uh, one Artemis. Uh, again, this is also another mandatory card because it's able to remove Rob from field and uh, make it an extra deck monster, which is important for your Dogmatica cards. One Relinquished Anima to punish your opponent for not putting their cards in the correct zones. Uh, one Dark, one B Cop, uh, one Selene and Exico. These are all pretty standard. Dark can link climb into Selene, which can, that can then link climb into Exico which just gives you a great way to go for game. And then B-Cop is played because it's able to protect some of your floodgates like Ravelry, uh, Eternal, or Schism, or even just like uh, Wonder. Oh, well, we wouldn't actually put on Wonder since it can't be destroyed by card effects, but you can put it on other important cards. Uh, you play, and then for our Super Poly targets, we're just playing one Gorilla and one Mud Dragon. I feel like just these two are more than enough for your Super Poly targets. It gives you enough coverage for pretty much every deck. Uh, for the side deck, you can play anything you like, but I'm just this is like a, just a generic example of what you could be playing. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts of the deck are in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with friends. And yeah, peace out.